No go if sustained winds at the 162 foot level of the launch pad is more than 30 miles per hour. No go if the upper level conditions have wind shear that could lead to control problems for the launch vehicle. Now Florida is no stranger to lightning and if it strikes within 10 nautical miles of the launch pad or the flight path, that automatically results in a 30 minute delay. Now I'm using nautical miles because that's what NASA uses. One nautical mile converts to 1.15 regular miles. Getting back to what could delay the launch, let's talk clouds. If there's a detached thunderstorm anvil cloud within 10 nautical miles, no launch. If there's a debris cloud from a thunderstorm within three nautical miles, you guessed it, no launch. Now you might be thinking, what about freezing temperatures? No, not thinking about freezing temperatures because it's Florida. Freezing temperatures in the atmosphere could cause an issue. Stay with me here. If there's a disturbed weather cloud that extends into the air that is freezing and those clouds have moderate amounts of precipitation, NASA will scrap the launch if those clouds are within five nautical miles. We've got a lot to cover here with clouds. If there are cumulus clouds with tops extending into freezing temperatures and those clouds are less than 10 nautical miles out, no launch. So what about thick clouds? If the rocket is set to go through a cloud layer greater than 4,500 feet thick that extends into freezing temperatures, no go. By the way, the SunTrust building in downtown Tampa is 525 feet tall. The cloud would have to be as thick as more than eight SunTrust buildings stacked on top of each other. Another concern, wildfires. If there's a smoke cloud from fires near the rocket, no launch.